Hello student, good morning. Today we are going to study behavior and ecology, animal behavior and ecology. Uh, <clears throat> this is my <clears throat> lecture number 17 and today we will study in details the development of behavior, how the different sort of behavior kinds of behaviors are developed among the animals and what is the reason and how they those behavior are just you know uh, significant uh, <coughs> or important for the animals for their adaptations and uh, uh, reproductive success uh, uh, as a species okay well, we see uh, that development of behavior uh, is very much you know uh, interesting and uh, fascinating subject animal behavior we study uh, start from the animal behavior animal behavior includes all the ways animal interact with other organisms and the physical environment it is a change in the activity of an organism in response to the stimuli internal or external signals or cue uh, or combos combination of just you know signals uh, or C U E Q okay students you see <coughs> how behavior is matured and what is their uh, pattern so <coughs> maturation of a behavior pattern or behavior pattern many behavior a pattern are linked to the physical development of uh, animal called as behavioral maturations which is a form of behavioral development maturation is the process of becoming mature that is emergence of individual and behavioral characteristic through growth process over time Age has a strong influence on behavior which are innate biological changes in behavior which, uh, with aging due to change in brain functions and other internal and external what you call factors of the organ. Uh, uh, if we quote the examples, uh, uh, for example, tail movement of a frog, embryo uh, in egg membrane before hatching as if they were swimming in water but movement coordination improve with time with neuromuscular maturations not from learning and then another example is birds learning how to fly fluttering of wings of the baby bird seems as they are practicing flapping of wings is possible with an age that is with maturations First, I give you examples that frog, frog, uh, a frog embryo, just you know, uh, uh, try to just you know swim in the membrane of its egg because they had it has a just innate what you call uh, uh, a trait for doing this. But before just you know uh, hatching out from the out of egg or uh, egg membrane, it tries to just you know what you call practice those process of just you know moving the limbs or for swimming so that in future it will be just you know helpful for you uh, for for the for for the uh, tadpole in the embryonic form another thing is that uh, you have um, probably read in the <coughs> english book uh, his first flight about the seabird seagull how one young bird was left in the nest and other bird uh, what you call sister bird or brother birds had flown away because their wings were too much strong and uh, very much mature for flying uh, uh, the leftover just a young just a seagull chick was not uh, able to fly because uh, maturation of its uh, what you call wing muscles and bones strength of the bones were yet to be just you know uh, 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 be happen just uh, uh, for the for executing or carrying out of the 
flying frog now you see now you see what is instinct and what is learned just behavior uh, we uh, by the animals and uh, human beings now you see innate behaviors of some animals that honey bees just you know how bees are just you know doing all these things uh, uh, sometime making a just you know uh, doing a dance uh, uh, making a figure of eight uh, if uh, honey bee on its hive is uh, worker bee is making a structure of figure eight that means uh, the source of uh, honey or nectar is very nearby from the hive and uh, this is called another type of dance is called waggle dance and the, which says uh, uh, tells the distance of the hive from the sun rays and uh, uh, distant source of honey or nectar or flowers uh, from the hive that is uh, how just instinct behavior just uh, of the salmon fishes comes uh, covering thousands of mile in the lakes to spawn that is laying a eggs uh, and reproduce themselves that is uh, what you call other you see other uh, 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 at the right top of the sea a uh, weaver birds which is weaving and knitting a just you know nest very much just you know what you call complex and beautiful which is possible by human being only but these birds with no hands uh, with only beaks and their legs they uh, knit out this type of uh, birds which is uh, an example of just instinct uh, what you call learning or just uh, birds behavior in type of innate behavior orientations kinesis kinesis is the behavior in which an organism changes the speed of random movement which help them to survive in the environment for example this type of behavior enables pill bug and insects to reach the moist areas which is required for their life if there is too much uh, what you call uh, heat in the environment. Uh, kinesis means movement. Uh, kinesis is undirectional movement. For example, earth kinesis that is speed or uh, clinokinesis or turning. Texas is the directional movement towards or away from the stu stimulus. For example, phototaxis uh, uh, that is uh, uh, towards the light, geotaxis towards the earth or, uh, uh, or uh, thermotaxis towards the heat, positive or negative phototaxis are also just you know towards or away from just you know uh, any uh, uh, source of life. Now dear students you see interaction between instinctive and learned, uh, learned components of the behavior and instinctive or non learned inherited that is inherited genetics pattern of behavior which doesn't have to be learned. Uh, uh, it is fully functional when it is performed first time that is an innate behavior or inherited behavior. Instinctual behavior traits or behavior uh, are seen in bird uh, uh, bird when they sing song and waggle dance of bees and singing of birds is an inborn ability to inherit across generations by coming generation of progenies of offsprings uh, 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 here is a, a word methylations which is used in genetics for epigenetics to uh, off and on of genes to carry out some behavior uh, this is not uh, uh, for your understanding uh, at this stage. So, for example, a spinning of a, spir of a spider web by spiders is an innate behavior. Building of nest by the birds, uh, bird migration, and social behavior in pack of animals. All these behaviors uh, can be just you know carried out by the animals for the first time without any just you know hints or any sort of source of learning that is incorporated in their DNA and just uh, 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 they have 
they need not to learn from any source or anything or any uh, partner or just you know uh, uh, friend animals uh, etc on the other hand learned behavior or learning in an ethological context uh, is the alternation alteration of uh, behavior as the result of experience as a result of experience for example catching of prey by the bobcats and not cracking behavior of the squirrels are learned by those cats and squirrels uh, rooting encouraging for firm establishment of animals rooting suckling of the milk uh, from the mother uh, and the most strong, uh, strongest instinct behavior is the survival instinct in all animals. Our limbic system controls the instinct behavior. Limbic system means uh, our just, you know, uh, thinking process, thought process and emotions. All are uh, controlled from limbic system uh, related to the uh, neural uh, or sensual uh, system or mechanism of uh, animals. Now imprinting behavior. Imprinting is a specialized form of learning that occurs during a brief period in the young animals. For example, ducks, uh, ducks, young ducks, uh, duckling uh, show imprinting uh, on their mothers in the operate condition, conditioning. An animal learn to perform a behavior through a reward or punishment that follows the behavior. Uh, 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 is an so imprinting, uh, you see, uh, students. Uh, so imprinting is a kind of learning in which an animal gains a sense of species identification. For example, precocial, precocial uh, uh, baby birds begin the process of imprinting shortly after hatching, so that they can follow the appropriate adult, providing them with shelter, safety or foods uh, 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 for them. Uh, Precautions means uh, uh, young uh, birds uh, and uh, 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 which are just you know after hatching is capable of uh, what you call uh, picking the uh, uh, food substances and running or swimming uh, and altricial uh, altricial young or helpless young babies uh, for example human babies after birth they are helpless and they can't, uh, can't stand and can't just you see what you call uh, mm, uh, uh, even just you know uh, point out for any just you know uh, mm, uh, significant uh, needs and uh, uh, move properly that is uh, what you call uh, seen so many animals even in birds uh, uh, the uh, freshly hatched uh, chicks are very helpless in uh, pigeons and so many birds uh, but you see in chicken and uh, other just you know uh, uh, patridge uh, birds uh, they are precautious and uh, they are ready to just walk and just you know get food and hide themselves after immediately after hatching okay student uh, as usual i have a take home message for uh, uh, every lecture uh, this is what uh, we uh, tell you in this uh, take home message that we can learn as much from nature as from books as the nature is an open book so be close to nature by any means for example gardening gardening swimming keeping pets etc nature is a great healer use of herbal medicines vegetarianism uh, that is a habit of uh, eating uh, much vegetable instead of meats uh, 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 with a regular just uh, 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 namaz in time and exercise keep a person uh, hip and uh, happy and just you know fit for life uh, and uh, healthy uh, at the end again dear students uh, I tell you time and again that listen and read these lectures uh, loudly if you are alone so that nobody is disturbed at home 
time and again try to listen or uh, just you know read this lecture to prepare for your exam attentive listening writing and reading are the three collective ways of learning and memorizing nothing like good preparation with diligence